So this video is going to be very short. It's just a simple bug fix of the tooltip uh, because some of you guys have made me aware that um, the tooltip is still showing up uh, when every mouse over um, over the inventory when it's hidden. Um, this bug appeared after we changed um, the inventory system so that we can actually store items in in a bank. Um, so I can just show you what I mean here. If if I open up my inventory here, I have a health potion. If I close my inventory here and take my mouse over the health potion, well then the toolship still shows up and uh, I didn't think about that when I made the other videos um, so we of course we of course we need to make a little fix for this and also when we have a mouse over um, the item and we close the inventory the um, tooltip still stays there it doesn't uh, disappear whenever we open or close it so let's make the first fix so that we can't see our items um, or the tooltip when we mouse over the items as long as the inventory is closed and it's fairly easy to uh, fix that because if we go to our inventory script um, and go all the way to the top, we'll see that we have let's open here. We have a um, a variable here called is open, and if we go to that. You'll see that we have this private bool is open, and it indicates if the inventory is open or closed. And we can actually use that uh, to check if we want to show the tooltip or not. So if the inventory is open, we would like to show the tooltip, and if it's closed, well then we don't want to show the tooltip anyway. So if we go to um, show tooltip, have the function here, well then we'll see that we have this if, if statement here that already checks if um, if uh, the slot is empty and everything before we show the tooltip. So what I want to do is that I want to check if the inventory is open first. So we can say slot that get component in parent inventory, and then I can say is open and so if the slot that we're mousing over if the inventory it's attached to is open well then we're going to show the tooltip here so let's try to save this and go back into our uh, game here and run it and if i open up my inventory here you'll see that when i mouse over them you can still see the tooltip and when i close it it still doesn't disappear but now i can't show the um, tooltip anymore uh, when I mouse over the items here, not until I open up the inventory here, it's gonna appear again. So that was one of the bugs fixed there, uh, because now we can't see our tooltip when our inventory is closed. So the next thing we want to do is to hide the tooltip. When I press the button to close my inventory, the tooltip tip should also disappear. So if we jump back in here, we have this function called hide tooltip, I think go we have this hide tooltip function and we basically need to call that whenever we open or close our inventory so if we go to close uh, I think it's just called open function now let's see if I can find it open there we go so we have this function called open inside the inventory script and this function makes sure that we close our inventory if it's open and we open the inventory if it's closed. So right here in this function or this if statement here we are closing the inventory. And here we also need to make sure that we hide our tooltip when we do that. So we need to say hide tooltip here. And if we save and jump back into our game tooltip should now disappear whenever we close our inventory. See, I have my mouse over here and I close my inventory and the tooltip also disappears. So as you can see now we can't uh, bring up a tooltip uh, when the inventory is closed, not until it's open and we are able to bring up our tooltip again. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the next part of this tutorial series. Because the next thing we're going to do is to equip some uh, items and gain some stats from those items. So we're actually going to make some equipment slots so that we can equip the different gear. For example, um, shields and weapons and uh, armor. And the character or the player should then gain some stats from equipping those different items.